hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this cubicle typographic animation inside of cinema 4d so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in first of all photoshop now i'm going to create one document for that width i'm going to choose 1920 and height 200 and i'll create this document double click to unlock this layer and then press alt backspace to apply this black color then choose t for text and i think this looks good and type whatever text you want i'm going to type motion design then select this text hit ctrl t and i'm going to increase the size at appropriate amount something like that and adjust this at the center like that then create another layer then choose rectangle selection tool and i'm going to select this much portion and then hold ctrl sorry ctrl shift i for inward selection which is a shortcut key and then press ctrl backspace to apply this white color and hit ctrl d to deselect so our text strip is ready now press ctrl shift s to save this document and i'm going to choose jpg format and i'm going to type this black and i'm going to hit ok then select all these layers and hit ctrl j to duplicate it and i'll hide this lower ones and for this layer which is our background i am going to press ctrl backspace to apply this white color select this by holding ctrl i am going to select this selection and i'll hold alt backspace to apply this black color hit ctrl d to deselect now select this text press t and ctrl a and i am going to choose black color for this text and now press ctrl shift s to save this file and let's call this as white and i'll choose jpg format and i'll call it as white and now save this file again and now i'm going to save this photoshop file i'm going to type this black and white now we will go to the our main portion i'm going to use cinema 4d and sorry uh, now i'm going to create one cube and size i'm going to choose 400 size z 400 and size x 100 or let's say 80 like that i think we need to reduce to 50 this looks good to me let's make it 60 yeah if you want then you can decrease the size later also now press c to make this object editable then select these points hit ctrl a right click and choose optimize now double click on the material panel and create one black material and apply this material to this cube now select the polygons and i'm going to select this face and by holding shift i'm going to select this face then double click on it to create another material double click on this material and in texture i'm going to click on these three dots and i'm going to choose this black and hit open and yes and now we'll minimize it and we will apply it to this so as you can see we will get something like this one on this side and one on this side then again create another material double click on it in the color panel sorry let's close this and let this select all and double click on this mat 2 and oh from here i'm going to choose this white portion and hit yes and close it now select this cube again and by holding shift i'm going to create click on this one and on this one and apply this white material on this one like that so as you can see we are getting something like this but as you can see this looks quite stretchy so select this cube press t and you can scale it at appropriate size something like that also on this side you can scale it at appropriate size something like that if you hit ctrl r where as you can see we are going to get this results like that now we will go to the more graph we will choose cloner select this cube and move inside this cloner select this cloner and let's make a p position y to 60 or you can increase a little bit if you hit ctrl r as you can see we are getting something like this let's increase the count to 8 and let's see what we will get as you can see we are getting something like this 
Now we will select this clue now. We will go to the more graph. We will choose effector and I am going to choose plane effector. Then go to the fall off and choose linear field. And in direction we will choose plus y. Press E and let's move this over here like that. Now select this linear field. Go to the coordinates. Let's create one keyframe on position y. Go to around 40 and let's move this downwards and create another keyframe now we will choose this plane and we'll go to the parameter and we will uncheck this position we don't want position animation we want rotation animation and let's see on which axis let's go over here and let's make this 90 like that and let's move this over here and if you see this animation now we will get something like this now we will select this cloner again we will go to the more graph go to the effectors and we will choose delay and now if you see we will get a little bit smoothness and now select this delay go to the effectors and instead of blend mode i am going to choose spring and strength let's make it 80 and now if you see animation you will get this a little bit springy effect and then we have to increase the duration of this animation so i'm going to type 200 and let's increase it up to do that now select this linear field again and around 70 seconds go to the coordinates and again create one keyframe and go to around 110 and move this thing over here and create another keyframes so if you play this animation we will get this kind of animation and then kind of animation again now go to around 160 160 is gonna be my last keyframe because at this point animation is on the rest so let's see our animation yeah this looks quite good to me now what we will do we will select all of them we will hold alt g to create a group now select this group go to the coordinates in start i am going to create one keyframe on each rotation go to 160 and let's make it 360 360 and 360 and create keyframes like that now by holding shift i am going to create all these rotation properties right click go to the animation and choose show f curve so it will get this kind of if it's not showing there select all of them again by holding shift right click animation and choose show f curve again so it will show that select all this rotation and simply click on this option which is a linear so now our animation is in linear form so we will get this rotation animation like that now select this press l to enable or enable axis and you will move this coordinates to the center go to the right view and let's move this coordinate at the center like that so if you hit play now we will get something like this you will get this continuous animation like that now our animation is almost ready now we have to add our camera so select this camera enable this camera select this camera go to the object and field of view let's decrease this value then select this null object and press s like that let's zoom out a camera a little bit like that and now if you hit play we will get this continuous animation like that and this is gonna be in the form of loop yeah now uh, I'll add this flow on my scene and I'll move this downwards and if you hit ctrl R obviously you will get something like this now we will go to the light and we will choose area light and go to the top view and let's increase the size of this lights from this view and this view and by holding shift and move this over here press r for rotation rotate it like that and then rotate it like that go to the right view press e w and move this over here if you hit ctrl r let's see what we we'll get now select this light go to the shadow and choose area light now select this light by holding ctrl i am going to sorry by holding ctrl i am going to create duplicate of it select this hold ctrl and create duplicate and let's move this light over here press r for rotation then w and rotate it in this way like that if you hit ctrl r you will get this kind of stuff 
now you can select this matte color and you can apply this to the flow now select both the lights by holding ctrl create a duplicate press r for rotation and rotate it in this way so now we have all the four lights in our scene and let's try to play this as you can see this is going to be a little bit odd so select this flow press e and move this over here like that and if you hit ctrl r now you will get this kind of shadows like this now you can select this uh, what we call uh, layer i mean color go to the luminance and choose black color for the luminance and you can select this matte enable the luminance panel and in the texture i'm going to choose the black texture again hit yes and you can increase decrease the brightness to 75 percent like this and let's close it let's see hit ctrl r and let's see what we'll get we'll get something like this same thing you can follow for this one also select this white color yes and brightness choose 75 like this So with the help of that you will get something like this or there is another thing you can do you can create another material you can apply this to the flow select this uh, go to the color choose black color in reflectance instead of specular blend I am going to choose black big man and decrease the roughness and increase the reflection strength and if you hit ctrl r you will get the reflection of that let's delete this flow uh, color let's zoom out a little bit and let's see by hitting ctrl r what we will get we will get this reflection i think we need to select this flow press let's see we will move this something around here and if you hit ctrl r you will get this kind of stuff now you can double click on this material and you can increase the roughness a little bit so you will get a little bit roughness to that reflection like this Let's decrease the roughness a little bit and I'm also going to increase the reflection strength like that. Let's zoom in to our main cube and now if you hit play, we will get this continuous looping animation like that and if you hit ctrl R, we will obviously get something like this. Select this and move this over here. If you want then you can select any of this light and you can increase the intensity to 200 and let's see you get something like this and if you want then you can choose physical renderer also so you will get some proper results like that so yep with the help of this kind of technique you can create cubical typographic animation in cinema 40. <music>